What if I told you that the worst two rounds in 762x54R actually have the best chance of one-shotting enemy players? Hello everyone, it's Gigabrief here, and today I'm going to show you how the cheapest and worst thought of rounds in this caliber can in fact sometimes be the best to use. This cartridge is of course T46M, typically found on scavs and oftentimes used to cheese the sniper skill, but it has some hidden secrets that can place it above the rest. For starters, it does help that basically all the rounds in 7.62x54 are at least decent. The damages across these bullets range from 72 to 84, which are all pretty fantastic. The armour penetration of these is a little wider, starting at 41 for the T46 round and ending with 70 on BS, which practically speaking goes from very solid through to armour equals butter grade. For context, BS and SNB both have a greater than 90% chance to pen class 6 armour at full durability. Scary stuff. But even the low end, T46M's 41 penetration is identical to M80, which is already considered a pretty good round. It has two more damage at 82, and more armor damage as well, with 83% versus 66% to help bust through that durability. Like M80, this means that T46M has a 91% chance to fly straight through class 4 armor, which is the mainstay of the player base at the moment and will be for a while in our post-1212 world. This calibre took a little rebalance recently in particular with PS rounds going from 86 damage to 84, so now, under regular circumstances, none of these rounds one-shot PMCs anymore with a thorax hit. PS used to one-tap naked players under 10 meters before the round drop-off kicked in too much and there was no armour mitigation, but now they're all firmly under the threshold. However, it is still possible to kill someone in one hit to the chest due to the fragmentation mechanic. This can be thought of like a critical hit, dealing 50% extra damage if it occurs. Taking a closer look at the ammo chart, most of the cartridges for 54R have an 8% chance to fragment, but in particular the two cheap rounds LPS and T46M have an 18% chance instead. As you might have guessed, that means that if you get a penetration with these rounds on the chest hitbox, which is overwhelmingly likely against class 4 armour, around 1 in every 5 shots will take the damage up to over 120 and kill them outright. On this basis, if the vast majority of players that you are facing are wearing class 4 or lower, you're actually better off using the two cheaper rounds than any of the other traditionally superior ones simply due to the way that thresholds and breakpoints work in Tarkov. If a round doesn't one tap, it doesn't one tap. We don't really care if it has 81, 82 or 84 damage as the end result is the same with a two hit kill. Likewise with penetration, if we're already dealing with the most popular armour class then the extra pen doesn't really matter until later into the patch. The 41 to 45 range is also one of the least sensitive when it comes to penetration, so while T46M only has a 13% chance to penetrate against a full durability class 5 on the first hit, PS rounds are still only 38% with 4 more pen, which isn't even at the 50-50 point. As players start to use class 5 armour more, of course T46 and LPS will begin to lose their luster, with SNB and BT being much better in that regard, but it will take a while before a majority of players are using class 5, as shown by a recent poll done that over 60% of players are at level 20 or lower at the moment. As of the time of this video, we're just coming up on a month post wipe, and as you can't buy class 5 armour on the fleet at all anymore since 1212, this has really slowed down the general availability and prevalence of this tier in raid. So relatively early on, I really do think that T46 and LPS are technically superior due to this fragmentation chance for one taps, but between them it's a very close call. Obviously the T46 is cheaper at 258 rubles versus 319 which is a nice starting point, however if we do come up against someone with better armour, the armour damage itself is in fact higher on T46M, meaning that we can get it closer to zero faster and follow up shots are more likely to penetrate than on LPS. Now, there are some extra stats that I have collected which you actually can't see on the wiki regarding malfunctions and overheating. As you fire, each shot heats up your weapon, increasing the durability burn and once reaching a maximum heat level automatically jams your gun. This can be made better or worse with different attachments, but the ammunition itself has a very large impact on the amount of heating per shot. Between T46 and LPS, T46 has a heat rating of plus 105.6% versus plus 131.3% on LPS, and in fact this value on T46 is the coolest out of all the cartridges in this calibre. The two other malfunction related stats are misfire, which is when a round simply fails to go off when fired, and the failure to feed chance which dictates the likelihood of a jam when a round enters the weapon in the first place. These are the same between them with low and very low, but superior to all the other rounds in this calibre as well. 
Most of the time when choosing rounds, these stats don't really matter because usually we're using weapons with higher than 93% durability that can't jam outside of overheating. But the reason that it is important for 7.62x54 is that a good portion of the ammo usage for this is Punisher 6. Here we have to use the SVD to get PMC kills and in particular there is an overwhelming temptation to use low durability SVDs because 100% versions are so damned expensive. As we're not firing that many rounds, it is quite convincing to use some of these at 60 durability say and this is where the low heat, low misfire and low failure to feed stats on the T46 round come in very handy to minimise these potentially game ending problems in raid. T46 also comes with a 5% recoil reduction. This hardly matters to be honest but we'll take it. Now, as good as this round is for mid-game play, at short and medium ranges and relatively budget loadouts, there are still some downsides to using it which are important to understand before picking it up every time. Firstly, T46M is a tracer round with a green trace. This definitely comes down to personal preference as some people like it for seeing where their rounds are going, especially with semi and bolt weapons which is certainly relevant for 7.62x54, but others dislike it for giving away their position when suppressed. Ultimately, it comes down to what you're using it for and how much stealth over targeting matters to you. There are a few other features too that make it unsuitable for sniping over longer ranges. It comes with an accuracy debuff of 1%, although because of how accuracy works in Tarkov, this is very small to the point of being meaningless, but it's another count against using it at distance. Considering it also has the lowest penetration of the rounds in this category, it suffers the most from the drop-off mechanics too, as at 150 meters, it has 37 penetration, which is right on the 50-50 point for penetrating class 4 armor. As if we needed any more reasons to dislike using this for actual sniping, the projectile speed for T46 is slow as well. At 800 meters per second versus 865 or 875 like most of the others, when used over long ranges, it will shoot a little low. This is because of the default zeroing of the various weapons. The SVD is zeroed for PS, the SV98 and the Mosin are both set with LPS and the MP18 is set with BT. All of these rounds are faster than T46 and this is the reason why it will shoot slightly low when trying to use the default zeroing at longer ranges. T46 also comes at Prapor level 2, which is not a big deal but it means you won't be using it with a Mosin at level 1 unless you find it on a scav. A much better choice at longer ranges in the mid game is PS at Prapple 3 or on the flea as the extra damage in pen allows for some drop off and is still a good chance of penetrating class 4 with over 40 pen at 200 meters plus it has an accuracy bonus too of 10% which is more relevant. Later on in the patch BT and SMB will definitely become better simply because more people are wearing class 5 armor but for the time being I think 46M is the best round to use within this caliber at the moment. Overall, because only a small handful of weapons use 7.62x54R and only the SVD is semi-auto but with its ergo and recoil modding problems, the caliber can stay pretty busted on stats alone but remain balanced and even underpowered in the late game where the weapons it loads into are taken into account. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. through there. Did he go left or right? Do we think? Ah! <laughs> that way. Ah! No! Sniper scav! No! Stop it. Did I bring enough CMS kit? I didn't. Oh no. Bad. Ran out of stamina. Ah. 
Oh, this is so hard with a broken arm. Got him. So next up, go and check out my alternatives to the RFB pre-Peacekeeper 2 since M80 was moved onto Peacekeeper 3, of which the SVD is one of them, although it's probably the most expensive choice of the lot. Otherwise, as usual, a big shout out to all my patrons, hit all the buttons if you enjoyed the video, and as always, have fun in your raids.